So the original plan was for me to give like an unbiased, really interesting analysis of what I thought of Wonder Woman. I have some news for you and the news is that I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I recognize that it was like not an amazing movie. Like there are things about it that really annoy me. Just like some really, really boring like sexual humor. The villain was like, eh, okay. But I am a Marvel fan, so I'm used to lame villains. There was some clunkiness considering like how much the setting shifted and how much characters grew over the course of the movie. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about those things. Be gone. This is just gonna be me screaming. I am not the first person to notice that this is some very heavy parallels to the first Avenger. Very heavy. But I kind of like Captain America a lot. Yeah, you better let them know that considering how subtle you are about it the rest of the time. Okay, maybe some people don't know because they would really miss the Captain America vibe just screaming over this entire jacket. Technically, that's not even Captain America. That's Miss America from the Young Avengers and I will have you know that I- All right already. <sighs> In conclusion, I have a strong tendency towards anything that even vaguely reminds me of Captain America, so I was super on board with this. Period pieces of super movies are so interesting on so many levels because you have to have it be interesting to the people who are watching it, and so you have to have it fit like the norms and the ideals of like the crowd of today, but also have it like fit in with the actual history of what was happening. And when it was created, it wasn't as like a historical thing. Captain America was created punching Hitler because Hitler was doing bad things when Captain America was created. Like that was just happening. So two Jewish dudes who were making awesome stuff were like, yeah, we should probably do something about this and like make people aware. It is much less simple than that, but that is a story for another day. The point is that you are taking an actual character who has actually aged through the actual history of, of the world and then bringing them back to when they were actually created. It's just so, it's just so interesting. To be fair, they did switch up the wars in which the movies take place, like Captain America's World War II, Wonder Woman is World War I, and I haven't gotten into the discourse on that, and apparently it is wide and it is varied, and I did not enter those Google search results because I just wanted to have my like unfiltered feelings. But the things that it has in common with Captain America are not just like the blonde character who named Steve who does some very similar things, we're not gonna go into that. And it has a like strong woman, adoring man thing going on. But the fact that the main character in both of those movies has like such strong convictions whether or not they can actually achieve them. Both Diana and Steve will fight ridiculously hard whether they believe they can win or not. And they will fight for people whether they deserve it or not. Just because the ideals of peace and truth and justice are so important to both of them that they will stop at nothing to make sure those things are achieved and just have this like super deep something within them that like will not let them stop and that's just mm, I want to be that kind of person I want to be that kind of person so badly I am not I want to be it reminds me of this super good quote from Glenn Weldon of NPR that I'm gonna play for you now I think Chris this movie's a symptom of where we are as a culture, we're embracing the anti-hero. We have been for decades, especially on TV, but also in books and movies. We tell ourselves we embrace the anti-hero because we think it's more sophisticated. We recognize that the world isn't black and white and that moral ambiguity and ambivalence is more real. We tell ourselves that and we're awfully smug about it, but the real reason we're doing that, we embrace the anti-hero, is because we just don't have the guts to embrace the hero. We're too cowardly, we're too cynical to believe in heroes. We distrust ideals because they're too hopeful and sincere. If we believed in the heroes that embody them, it means we'd actually have to risk something. Put ourselves out there. Be hopeful and sincere. I just think that that is the kind of hero that I would like. And that's not to say that I don't like anti-heroes. They're super interesting and like there are people who are like that in the world and there are stories that need to be explored. But the idea of like Captain America as vanilla or like fighting for something so like simple and pure being inherently boring is BS, man. Like... It is. Because the world has like a great amount of complexities and a lot of different things going on and you need to like educate yourself and understand and like be aware of those things. But that complexity does not mean that you should give up or like throw away your naive ways or any of that. In this movie, Wonder Woman like deeply wants peace for all people. She discovers this whole species and sees the destruction that they're dealing upon each other and just wants it to stop. She wants to stop it and put herself in danger when she has done nothing and has been encouraged to 
like go back to her own peaceful world, but she doesn't want to do that. She wants to stop the evil that is happening. And I think we all do. Sometimes it's easier to just sigh and be like, wow, the world is really tough and sad and I can't make a difference. And sometimes there are like actual systems in place that want you to think this way. Um, that is another video for another time and we're not gonna get on that. But this movie also doesn't just focus on like the pure hearted idealism, but also sees the ways in which like sometimes that can lead her astray. Like she has a very strong conviction about like what's going on and how she can stop it that ends up not being true. And she ends up having to deal with the reality that humanity contains both good and evil and is still worth fighting for. Which is something that I believe very strongly. I don't think humans are fundamentally good, but I think there is like good in humans. She learns that and she learns that from being around people who teach that to her and her being willing to be teachable. She doesn't want to save people because she's naive or she thinks something about them that's not true, but because she sees the value in them and the evil in them and wants to be rid of that evil so that the good can thrive. Like this is very very close to like what I know to be true about Jesus and so I'm like very very emotional about this. There's literally a scene where she's like in the sky like there is some symbolism there. An again another video another day there's so much I can talk about. The actors in this movie in particular Gal Gadot just do such a good job of keeping that balance. Like there are things that she doesn't understand about the world and she thinks that like coats are stupid because you can't fight in them and she doesn't understand some social things because like she hasn't been exposed to them. But the balance between like the foolhardiness and the hot-headedness but also the genuine conviction and like where she comes from and who she is and her family there are so many things that could have been super overplayed but weren't. And that's something that's really hard to strike in a superhero movie. Like, like I'm reminded really strongly of how some of the comedy in Thor just like is super cringy. And, and like you just gotta accept it be like this is the kind of humor that this movie is being. And I kept wanting to do that as I was watching this movie like get ready like shield yourself for this. But I didn't have to do that. Gosh. Ugh, I'm so excited. It also just like was cool and had interesting character development and had beautiful looking outfits for everyone. And the fighting was just like I could literally watch that for hours. Like it was so freaking cool. I have not seen action this cool. Probably, like, I think it was cooler than Civil War, and I really like the action in Civil War. It was just super interesting. Some people think that the slow-mo was, like, very over the top, but, like, there's some sick stuff that happens, like, on horseback with arrows. Like, guns? Okay, we've seen a lot of action with guns, but, like, someone freaking gets three arrows and, like, shoots three people with them while flying off of a horse? Someone does the, like, shield jump thing and destroys something? There's some, like, awesome whip-slinging move. It's- oh my gosh! It just, it just, it was so, it was fun. It was fun. It was like a good movie. And it made you feel things, you know? Like it made you care about stuff. And it made me want to like engage more with the actual world. And like, I really cared about these characters, not just because like, oh, I guess the movie wants me to care about these characters, so I will. A lot of times I go into movies thinking like, okay, what will make this an enjoyable experience for me is if I care about the characters, so I'm gonna try really hard to care about the characters and the plot and what's happening, and maybe it'll make an enjoyable movie. But I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to like try and force myself to be excited because like the movie itself made me genuinely excited and made me genuinely care about like, is so-and-so going to live? Is this person gonna be defeated? Is this thing gonna be okay? Will this person realize this thing? And on top of that, it just dealt with gender really well. And when I say dealt with gender, I don't mean like portrayed females well, even though it also did that. But like the ways in which different genders interacted with one another and like the value that was placed on them and then like the intrinsic, very strong value that Diana has in herself as an Amazonian, as a woman, being in this world of like a very different culture thing. And just that like inner strength that she has, like I would love to have that, please, please give it to me. And like did some really interesting stuff about like showing the value of women and the value of ideals typically portrayed as feminine and like the value of people being themselves wh wh like however their gender plays into that. Just like really good. Like after I saw this movie, I was in literal tears for like five minutes. This is, this is for me. <laughs> ah! I would love to talk more about that and I will probably make another video about that, but I wanted to like give this movie credit for like all of the other good things it did outside of gender stuff. It's super unfair to say that this superhero movie has to deal with the weight that other superhero movies don't have to deal with just because it stars and is directed by a woman. That is the world we live, so I'm just gonna try to contribute to that as little as possible. So, 
In conclusion, I'm super psyched about this. I would maybe suggest seeing it, realizing that this is like a very specific person's perspective on a movie that like pushed all of her buttons of things that make her happy. Probably objectively, it was a good movie. But for me, it just like psyched me up. It got me excited. It, I liked it a lot. Please go see this movie. Yeah.